John Golden with Mad Cat Music Review. We're at NAMM 2013 with Bass Slayer, legendary player Michael Anthony. Bass Hi. Slayer, I like that. How How's you doing, going, brother? brother? Good. So tell us about your PV Custom Amp that you're here to endorse. Well, I started a relationship with PV in 2009, basically the same year Chickenfoot got together. Joe Satriani introduced me to the people over there, and they were very interested in having me uh, uh, give them my thoughts on a new bass amp they were uh, they were working on, and uh, which came to be called the VB3. I actually took that amp out on tour in 2009 with Chickenfoot and uh, helped r and d the whole amp you know I gave my input while we were out on the road and whatever and uh there were a couple of things that you know I would have changed personally on that amp whatever and they were nice enough to go hey well if you want to do that let's do a signature amp with you and I'm like sure why not wow. so you know we incorporated you know it's got a clean channel it's got a distortion channel and uh, what's nice is that it's uh, you can blend the two channels together so you know with an amp like this that's got a lot of power uh, a lot of times you got to really crank them loud to get that overdriven sound, you know, yeah. the ballsy sound you want. And this way, you can do it at a lower volume. So let's say, you know, your band's playing at a, at a club or somewhere like that. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't want the guitarist yelling at you and, you know, everyone telling you to turn down. So, right, right, right. So that way you can do it at a, at a lower volume, and it's a great sound, too. It's not like a, it doesn't sound like a layer of distortion on top of it. It really uh, blends in with the, with the clean sound. So this thing will just rage it out this at a stadium, this, this, at a club, or no matter pops, what. Yeah, and we got this, this is a... Uh, an 810 uh, cabinet that we have here, but we're also got 410 cabinet, a 118, uh, 215 oh, cabinet. Wow. So it's going to be different configurations of cabinets you can get to depending on how you're going to use it. Very cool. So was yeah. it? How, what was it like being part of the creative process? Actually, kind of building it on your own uh, and the It input? was fun, you know. I, I, after being in the business for over 30 years now and using probably just about every kind of bass amp and going through every kind of you know bi amping, tri amping, different electronics or whatever. Mm -hmm. Uh, it was actually kind of cool, you know, that uh, I finally found a company that, that wanted to work with me and wanted my input. You know, I didn't want to just slap my name on it and say, hey, we'll put this out, call right. it a which is which is really cool. So It's got PV, the integrity found, behind yeah, it. Yeah, with PV, I found that, and they, and they allowed me, you know, they said, hey, you tell us whatever you want to do to the amp, and I was like, I'd never gotten that before from a company, so that's pretty cool. It's very cool. So... I don't know if a lot of people know this, but you're a big hot rod enthusiast. Yes, I am. What's your favorite car in your collection? My favorite car? Oh, my God. Uh, probably I have a 33 Black Flame Roadster. It was the first hot rod that, uh, that I built. Uh, the, oh, wow. To me, the, a flamed Roadster was always kind of like the quintessential hot rod. So that's probably, yeah, that's probably my favorite one. That It's got a lift off hard top, so when, the, when it's nice, I take the top off and cruise it that way but go by Jay Leno's place make him jealous oh no I don't think so I've, I've seen Jay Leno's place and, uh, he's got, he's got it sauce. all going on over there yeah right right so how's the hot sauce and the, the barbecue sauce is yeah, going yeah hot sauce is doing great you know I'm not I'm not like you know trying to become a millionaire selling hot sauce but uh, it's a lot of fun to do and people enjoy it so we're still doing it we actually got a couple of ideas for like a dry rub a couple different things that we're going to come out with Maybe something that's even a little hotter than my triple X that I got now. So, oh, wow. Yeah. And was that born out of a love? Just you like the spicier side of you food? Know, and... <laughs> yeah. I mean, I just just growing up. I mean, it started out with with Tabasco, you know, and mm -hmm. it's just kind of escalated from there. And I don't know if that's a good thing because my wife she kills me every time I, you know, she makes a nice dinner and I put hot sauce on. It. It's like, <laughs> Heartburn for everyone. <laughs> I said I can still taste your food. I just want it hot, you know. Right, right. But everybody. You know, Van Halen will be on tour, and people would start bringing me chili peppers, uh, hybrid peppers that they grew, hot sauces that they made, and uh, you know, we'd get to a gig, and I'd have all this kind of stuff backstage, and like, you know, then finally people people would go, hey, why do you want to make your own hot sauce? You're so into it, and it was right around the time people were saying that Joe Perry from Aerosmith came out with his hot sauce, his Boneyard Brew hot mm -hmm. sauce, and I thought, yeah, I want to do it, but if I did it, I don't want to, again go with a company and just slap my name on it and they give me like 1% or whatever and say, hey, you know, and and I, I found a company called uh, Mike and Diane's Gourmet Kitchen, which they make a hot sauce called Ring of Fire. In fact, that's that's their logo right there. That's down in San Diego, yeah? Yeah, in El okay. Cajon, just outside of San Diego. Okay, East San and Diego. I actually, I actually, they had a bottle of their hot sauce uh, at a video shoot for Van Halen that we were doing mm -hmm. and I, I totally dug it and uh, I asked the caterer if I could have it and they said, yeah, take the bottle. I thought, wow, that'd be a cool tat. 
So I actually had to put on my arm. Oh, wow. And then here at NAM one year, mm -hmm. some friends of the owners of the company saw it and told them. So then the year after that, all of a sudden I had Ring of Fire hats and saw, I mean, they gave it all to me, whatever. I said, hey, you know what? That'd be cool to maybe talk to these people. And again, they said, hey, we'll, we'll create a sauce with you. So it just kind of all stemmed out of that. And it wasn't like, like you know, and even they told me, they said, you're not going to become a millionaire making hot sauce, you know, unless, unless you're, you know, do something like Newman's Own or, you know, any of these. And I said, hey, you know what? Just to be able to do it and have something to say, hey, man, this is stuff that we created. Right. We did it, man. It's, it's great. It's a lot of fun. That's awesome. Very cool. So what are your uh, plans musically this year? You got anything lined up? You guys hitting actually, the road? Uh, I'm going to do some recording with Sammy Hagar. We've got a few new tunes we're going to do. And uh, we're probably going to go out and do some touring this summer. Sammy's got an idea to do. He wants to go out and do a tour called the Four Generations Tour. So kind of includes all his different bands, different eras that he's been involved with. So we're going to do that in the summer. And then probably in the fall, Chicken Foot will get back together. Uh, Joe Satriani's out right now uh, finishing up a solo record. He's probably going to go out and tour behind it. And Chad Smith's finishing up with the Chili Peppers pretty soon. So he's going to he's gonna want a break, and so probably in the fall. Maybe Chicken get back Foot, in the studio. Chicken Foot, be either back in the studio, or we'll start playing gigs and get ready to go in the studio. Right on. And then finally, what you God, Go out and turn this baby loose. Yeah, right? Yeah. That'd be killer. So who's your pick for the Super Bowl? My pick for the Super Bowl? Who do you think's going to take it? Uh, I don't know. I just want to see a good game. I don't know what. Who do you think? I think, no, I think Baltimore. Baltimore. And I'm a Steeler you know fan, and it kills me to say oh, that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you're right. Maybe probably Baltimore. Baltimore is, is strong. I think just Ray Lewis. They're they're rallying around that yeah. guy. They're gonna they're gonna bring it. Yeah, they are. It's gonna be a good game though. Two good defenses. Can't wait, man. I got the party all lined up, man. Yeah, <laughs> a little. It's gonna be good. You got a warning? Like, do I need my hot sauce there? That's what I was going to say. You need a warning. A <laughs> severe heartburn will occur after you leave my house. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you All so right, much so. for your time, brother. Yeah, I appreciate good talking it. To you. Michael Anthony, Mad Cat Music Review, John, and thank you, sir. All right. All right. Thank you so much. Here it is. Thank you. Here it is.